show us sooner or later. Yeah. Amen. 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 With every fresh revelation of Christ comes a greater level of obedience. Amen. 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 All right. Now look at me in Matthew 17. i got to get there myself. I feel like we're having revival. Amen. 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 I feel that Holy Ghost in my soul. Amen. He's telling me, hire them all. Hire them all. I need everyone. <laughs> <laughs> hire them all. Hire them all. I need everyone. Hire them. The labor is up. Hallelujah. It's great. Yeah. Amen. Amen. It's a lot easier to tell people how good God is when you realize how good He's been to you to forgive you. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Praise the Lord. I can tell you, I'm excited. Praise the Lord. These old churches are trying to hold people back, and God's calling the street people to do the work. Come on. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Ain't you excited, my yeah. Lord? Hallelujah. They wouldn't even give us a spot in the back row. Praise God. <laughs> Amen. Come on. Glory. Matthew 17, and verse 20. And Jesus said unto them, when they was asking how come they couldn't cast out a devil, he said, because of your unbelief. For verily I say unto you, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, you shall say unto this mountain. How many see that? Amen. If you'll have faith as a grain of mustard seed, he didn't say you're going to pray under the mountain. No. You should have already done your praying. Now it's time to do some saying. Yeah, that's right. What are you doing? I pray to God. I get hooked up. I speak to everything. Yeah. Right. You get that tonight. You just walk with God, abide in Him, and be like them apostles. We're to walk as they walked, as they learned from Jesus. And they walked around. They didn't just let the world give them whatever. Amen. They didn't just let their churches be ripped apart with whatever. Hallelujah. They had people with needs in front of them. They spoke to that need in the name of Jesus and either commanded it to go or something like that. Amen. You right. understand that? You got power to say something. That's right. But you'll never be able to pray the prayer of faith when you sit around always saying, Lord, would you please do this for me? Amen. Uh, Amen. He's already done it. Amen. 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 When you get an agreement in that authority realm and you begin to call Amen. those things and be not as though they are, now you're moving in the realm of God Almighty. Yeah. He's the one that taught Abraham that. And look what we learned from him. Because when you're saved, hallelujah, you've been saved from the foundation of the world. Go figure. Amen. Before it ever started, he saved you. Boy, that's something. Since he already saved you there, you already got authority. Let's work on it. Amen. My God, it's amazing what happens when Christians actually spend time in the Word. Amen. That's right. You say, well, I have a hard time believing. You need more of the Word in your heart. It'll cause faith to come in you. The Bible said faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word. You see somebody get weak, they've left the Word. Amen. Amen. Well, you can pray. Prayer is good. You can shout and joy and dance and have good worship, but there's nothing to build faith in you but the Word. Amen. I'd have a good prayer meeting, but go out doubting the feelings I had. Right. But faith, reading the Bible, amen. I, when I first got saved, all the way through school, I pretty well cheated on everything. <laughs> I did. Oh, man. <laughs> I, mean, I couldn't get nothing right. They kicked me out of math class two years in a row. Second day. Both years. I just couldn't make a swing of nothing. I mean, trying to get in there. You got it. <laughs> I'm lagging my eye. I can't figure it out. <laughs> I'm telling you, I never liked reading nothing. They made me read one book in school. And I think that's the only book I ever finished was To Kill a Mockingbird. That's because I saw the movie. <laughs> but when God saved me, that Bible, that good old King James Bible, yes, hallelujah, on. you don't look to man for that, you look to God. Hallelujah. Yeah. And I'll tell you, God will give it to you in such a way, praise the Lord, that they won't be able to doubt you've been with Jesus. You hear it. Hallelujah. So time in the Word, that's what I'm telling you, will cause you to begin to pray in the prayer of faith. Amen. Because when you pray and you command things, you're in agreement with what the Word said, and it's forever settled in heaven, so how are you going to get up there and pull it out? You can't change it. It's settled, the Bible said. Some of us need to get some things settled in our life. God's called me. I'm going to settle that. Just That's fine. Are you here tonight? Amen. Just settle it right now. Your old life's over with. Your way of doing things done tonight. Praise the Lord. You don't got to go back and do anything you used to do. Settle it tonight. You're called to be an ambassador for the Lord. Yeah, You're called to know how to pray the prayer of faith and go around causing the devil some hell. Yeah. Amen. Put you through enough, now give it back. Amen. I guarantee he hates this message tonight. Yeah. He probably won't talk to me for a week. We're not on speaking 
terms anyway. Amen. Let <laughs> me say something. You lie. Get out of my feet. Amen. Hallelujah. But he said, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, you shall say to this mountain, remove hence to yonder place. See the authority? Amen. I mean, it's amazing when Christians actually do that. Amen. So I come home and I said, I got a bill I can't pay. And you know you're trying to serve God with all your heart. You, you've got a past life. You're trying to clean up. You're not trying to lie. You're trying to do things right. Put things in order. I want to serve the Lord with all my heart. But these past things are after me. What am I doing? I died to that life. So I'm going to start commanding all that stuff to die with that life. Amen. In the name of Jesus, start canceling that stuff out. And as you speak it and believe it, God will begin to bring it to pass in your life because he's good to his word. Amen. Amen. I don't care if it makes sense. It ain't going to make no sense. Amen. That's right. Amen. <laughs> you wait for the reason and the intellect, you got problems. Come on, Amen. 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 You believe out of the heart. Hallelujah. You don't make no sense to go before a doctor and have your body falling apart and go find somebody to pray the prayer of faith and come back. Come and the doctor's got to look at you and say, what in the world? I'll tell you what happened. It got me unreason. Amen. Amen. I said, you're just unreasonable, preacher. Exactly. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> That's where faith said. Yes. Go. Yeah. How the words uproot a mountain? Because God established the mountain with words. That's right. That's right. Come on. Words made the mountain. Words can move it. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. It's all right. Amen. Are you with me? Amen. Amen. Spend time communing with God. You run up against something, he wants you to establish his authority. Amen. Praise God. It's not my authority, not your authority, but we've been given a commission from above. Amen. And the most thing he's interested in is his poor creatures that are suffering under the whiplash of the devil. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Now he said, you'll say to this mountain, Remove to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. You need to get that down in your spirit. God's called you, and nothing is impossible to you. Nothing. Come on, sir. If you believe. So I said, I want to believe, but spend time in the Word. Amen. Faith come by hearing about what's my I got problems with sickness. What should I do? I've been getting prayed for and prayed for, but it just hasn't manifested. I haven't got what I need yet. See, you're all messed up already. Right. Because in God's kingdom, you call a thing. As it is before. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. And you, you say it sounds crazy, but it's not crazy. When you spend time with the Lord, it becomes automatic. Yeah, you keep right. spending time with the Word and searching scriptures that deal with the problem that you're having. Whatever. It may not be sickness. It might be finances. Whatever. Right. But you deal and you study it out. Don't just read your Bible all the time as a history lesson. Church people fail all the time and fall apart because they just treat that book like something they Come do on. to appease their Come conscience. Mm, i got to get my little quota done so I don't feel bad about being carnal the rest of the day. Amen. 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 Yes. My Lord, that's your treasure house. That's the weapons of your warfare. Everything you need to be a Christian, as you look at it, and I search the scriptures, I'm saying, I need that. And at, at a distance, I can see things that I need. But then as I begin to study the word on it, I pull it closer. I actually write scriptures down. I'll make uh, notebooks of subjects that, I, that I'm dealing with. And I'll write them down just so they get in my spirit. And I'll begin to keep looking at them and keep looking at them. Faith does my hearing and hearing my word over and over. And all of a sudden, I begin to change by the power of God. And some of them come to me, ain't this, what's, what, ain't this what's going on with you, preacher? I mean, they're looking at the outward. And before, I would have agreed with them and said, yeah, I need you to be in agreement with me and help me out. But when my faith has changed me, you can say whatever you want to say. It can look however it wants to look, but I can't speak that way no more. That's, That's, right. Right. That's right. I can't That's say right. it no more. Everybody says, you're crazy. You know that. No, it 